Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School. Your varsity boy is in action tonight against the Highlanders from Harwood. Lance Hall with call for HCTV channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us is what I'm trying to say. Art on camera. How you doing Art? Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. We're going to have the opening jump here moments away. Opening tip. Out of bounds. Ball will go to the Highlanders. Talk to Coach Aaron Hill before the game. He expects a good game tonight. I think Highlander com coming in there, D2 school. Going to play us tough. Got some height, got some shooters, got some great players, some good coaches. He's expecting a standout game tonight. Hazen comes in with a record of 8-1. and one. Their one loss a couple of games ago down in Thetford, but they came back in good shape and pounded on Linden earlier this week. Rematch with Thetford next week here at the Den. That's going to be a burn burner. Up ahead, Baker off the glass. Jaden Baker. Two points for the senior. Try and match up some names and numbers here for these hardwood, hardwood players. Shots up, doesn't go. Rebound, Harwood loses the ball. There's X, Xavier Hill, lefty. Throws up the left-handed shot. Cats up four zips, seven minutes left to go here in the first. Toby Bellows bringing the ball up, a junior for Harwood. Baker on him, dishes inside, turnaround, that's Lewis Clapp, puts up the shot. Nothing but net for the senior. Makes it a 4-2 game. Harwood crowd spirited down here in front of me. The student section, it's beach night here at the Gen. X, three-pointer, that's off. Rebound uh, is corralled down by Boone Marr. Here's Boone Marr. Going to drive dishes. Hill thought about taking a shot. There's a three-pointer. If it goes, doesn't go. Rebound. Leprez. Lincoln Mitchell. Gets it back to Baker. Xavier Hill. Brendan Moody. Three-pointer for the sophomore. Four-point lead for the Cats. 6.05 left to go in the first. Mar looking to go somewhere with it. Dishes over here to the side. Turn around in the lane. Doesn't drop. Skying up there is Tyler. Inbounds here from underneath their own hoop. Baker streaks in, intercepts the pass. X up ahead. That one's taken away by Marr. Hazen back on defense quick. We have three players back. Marr, nowhere to go. He's surrounded. Here's Hill. Dishes inside. Nice pass inside. Turnaround. Short for Clapp. Revard dishes inside, turn around, X, can't get that one to drop. Nice cut, though. Wow, that was a nice give and go. Toby Bellows inside, Clap Puts up a shot from just past the foul line, off the back of the iron. Clap gets his own rebound. Pass over, dipping up underneath. Nice, nice little attempt right there at the layup. Moody misses on that one. Rebound. Here's Bellows inside the clap. Back out. Short shot. Short for Hill. Parker Davey pushes it back. Marr 
Moody on him. Meyer cuts in. Crowd wanted to travel, and referee Robert Woodward calls the travel. Again, student section. Decked out in their best beach gear tonight. And we got one of those moving screens or something. I, I, I still haven't figured that out. I can have somebody explain that to me. It was called on the press, Lincoln Mitchett. Harwood inbound underneath their own hoop. Hayes and D playing, hanging tough right here. Clap inside. And yeah. Tyler had position. Clap kind of lowered the shoulder and bulldozed him over. Crowd with a rousing rendition of You Can't Do That. Moody comes out. It is uh, Gabe Mitchell going in. X with the call. Baker tries to fight his way inside. Was looking for Mitchell inside. Gets to uh, Gabe Mitchell back out. Baker wide open for the three. The butcher, the Baker. The three-point maker, five points for the senior, eight-point lead for the Cats, 10-2, 3.25 left. There's Bellows. Over here to the side, open for the three, just off the rim. That was Hill trying to three. Here's another Hill, Xavier inside, Tyler. Turn around, fights his way up, nice soft shot, Tyler Rebard. And I believe that's Clap. Clap shaking up on the play. I didn't see what happened. I was looking down at my scorecard. Looks like he might have taken one on the nose and caused you to tear up. Jason McHugh goes in for clap. It's turnaround, spin. Nothing there for Marr. X. Broken up. Flip back in. Hill, Cole Hill comes down with it. There's Marr. Drive inside, nice pass. McHugh puts up the soft shot. Joss McHugh, Jr. Inside, Rebard. Can't quite get there, McHugh. Harwood does have some players that match up size-wise with Tyler. Be interesting. Travel called on uh, Toby Bellows. 2.08 left to go in the first. Cats up 8, 12 4. I, have, I, I don't even begin to know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm going to go with Nathan K, number 4. Student section comes alive. Baker, pass out. Hill takes a 3. The X Man. 15-4. 1.45 left to go in the first. Three doesn't go for Bellows. Had a nice look. Xavier over to Baker. Lincoln Mitchell. Tyler inside. Is looking for Baker. Broken up by uh, Marr. 
Harwood team is quick. Doing great at getting in our, some of our passing lanes. We've seen them tip a number of passes. Parker Davies going to inbound to Toby Bellows. Surprised he isn't playing a uh, full court press. He usually likes to do that. Has his defense fall back. There's Bellows. Over here on the near side. That's Davy passed down to Nathan Kay. Turn around, McHugh inside. He hit from there earlier. Short on that one. Davy on the inbounds for Harwood. 106 left to go. Been all cats. Turn around, nice move by McHugh. Can't get it to drop though. Got Tyler to commit. Going to have a jump ball called. Possession error will give the ball to the Cats. Perez, nice pass inside. Rebard for the turnaround off the glass. Tyler Rebard. 50 seconds left. Cats leading 17 4. Clap. Recovered and back in the game, scoring points. Makes it 17 6. 30 seconds left here in the first. Drive, taken away. Moody dishes back out. Left-hander once again for the X-Man. Can shoot with either hand from anywhere. 19-6, 13 seconds. Wide open on the outside. Going to try and go move inside. Tyler out of defense on clap. You have to take the shot. Drops. Cole Hill with the three. So at the end of one, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading by a score of 19 to nine here at the Den. Hazen Union High School basketball on a Friday night. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Art on camera, our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Good games, good games. Girls uh, won up in Richford the other night. Had a good game up there. They go to Danville tomorrow, I believe. And then it's your Hazen Union Wildcat boys hosting Thetford in a rematch of the only loss they've had this season down in Thetford by a score of 47 to 42. So we'll see what happens when the Panthers come up here to the den. Was on this day in 1998, the television show Dawson's Creek premiered on WB Network. And it's my pleasure to have my beautiful daughter Joey sitting beside me, so we named after the Joey character on Dawson's Creek. Second quarter underway. See if uh, the Highlanders are able to make any adjustments during the break in between periods. Turnaround shot, doesn't go. Rebard looks over to Xavier. Xavier Moody back out. Rebard, shot from outside, doesn't go. Fight for it underneath. <laughs> And I believe they whistled the Prez for his second foul of the game. Ryan the Little Lion, Ryan Morrison comes in for Lincoln Mitchell. Take a little bit of a breather here. 19-9 your score. Second period just underway. Harwood trying to work the ball inside. Nowhere really to go. Back here, three-pointer, drops, shooter's roll, 
Cole Hill, his second three-pointer of the game for the senior. Makes it 19-12. Turnaround, there's the Highlanders with a steal. Short shots. Hill again with a two-pointer. All of a sudden, we're down to five. Morrison inside, blocked out by McHugh. Gonna call a foul. Referee Shannon Sweet calls Jason McHugh on the, flower, on the foul, just his first. We'll send Ryan Morrison to the line. First shot down. Second shot good. Ryan's been practicing his free throws. That's very good. All right, 21-14. All of a sudden, we got a ball game here. Off the glass. That was number four. And that was Nathan K. That one doesn't go. In there, Revard. Sky's in there. Tyler, nice hustle. Great hustle. Lead back up to seven. McHugh puts it up over Morrison, doesn't drop. Rebound, Xavier, X-Man. Over to Moody. Moody inside, nowhere to go. He was trying to drop it into Tyler, but there were a lot of black and yellow jerseys. Moody, though, comes back with it. Xavier's going to set stuff back up. X drops it in. Morrison tried to get the spinner. Need a little more reverse English on that one. Moody comes out. Uh, Baker, I believe, is back in. We got Baker and we got uh, Gabriel Mitchell, Tyler, Rivard, Xavier Hill, and Ryan Morrison on the floor for the Cats right now. Cross-court pass. Hill gets it over to Nathan Kay. Back over on the other side. Here's Hill wide open for the three. And Cole Hill is third three of the game. 23-19, four-point lead. And they're going to whistle up clap on that one. Clap second foul. Both teams with some fouls to give. Hazen with just 14 fouls, Hartwood with three. 5.20 left to go in the first half. Cats up 23-19. Rebard, back out, X, open for a three, short. Rebound Morrison, back out, here's Baker. Over to Mitchell, drop inside, Rebard. Nathan Kay right there with him inside, Morrison can't get it to drop. McHugh comes up with it. Player down for Hartwood, he's back up. Meyer surveying the situation. Gabe Mitchell comes out to play some D. Cole Hill, he's had the hot hand so far in this quarter. Meyer drops it inside, clap, turnaround, doesn't drop. Morrison with the rebound over to the Xavier, over to Baker. Whips a pass inside, Rivard back out. Mitchell, Morrison. Baker takes the three. Nothing but air on that one. Mitchell comes up with that one. Ball pink going around like a Plinko chip out here. In the end, Harwood comes up with it. Boone Marr. Hill. Hill on Hill over there. Cole on Xavier. Two white jerseys, double team on McHugh. Frees up clap though for a short one, doesn't go. Rebound Mitchett. Xavier over to Baker, inside Tyler, drops. Tyler Revoard, eight points, and Coach Jay Bellows wants a timeout, talk things over. As his team is, they've, they've played excellent in this quarter to come back. It was, it was looking like it was gonna be a runaway there in the first, but they kind of closed the lead. They've got it down to four a couple times, so we get 25-19. We'll give it a six point lead right now at 343 
Left to go here in the second. We'll do a uh, read of our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Uh, let's see, Beach Party Day, uh, ironically enough, it was on this day in 1954 at Rogers Pass, Montana, the lowest temperature ever recorded in the, in the lower 48 states of minus 70 degrees below zero. 70 below. Or if you want to warm up, convert it to Celsius. It was only 57 below Celsius that night. I can't imagine. I've had 40 below, but I've never had 70. That's cold. Bellows inside, McHugh drops a pass, back out, McHugh once again. And they're gonna call a jump. With 3.22 left to go here in the first half. <laughs> Xavier Hill here on the near side, Brendan Moody. Meyer on him, pass out, Baker. Almost went backcourt. Revard, Moody, dips inside. Mitch had opened inside, but taken away. Stripped by Aya Lavitt, I'll go with. Inside, turn around. Off the glass, Lavitt. Makes it a four-point game. 25-21, 2.40 left to go here in the first half. Rebard pass underneath. Mitchett goes up. Can't drop. Foul called. Shannon Sweets. Foul is on Parker Davey. Both teams now nodded with 14 fouls, so still a ways to go. Well, we start shooting one and ones. 2.30 left to go in the first half. Underneath, Rebard. Tyler Rebard, 10 points for the senior. Six-point lead for the Cats. 2.24 left to go in the, in the first half. Here's Marr on the, on the far side. Bellows. And in the end, the ball goes off. A Hazen player, Harwood, will retain. Cole Hill checks back in. Boone Marr comes out. Quick pass in. Taken away. Here's Mitchell. Trying to get it over to Baker. Broken up by Hill. Davey, well, the complaint to the ref, something to do with Baker, I don't know. Rivard, back over. Rivard, short shot, doesn't go. Bunch of black jerseys underneath there. McHugh comes down with it. Here's Toby Bellows. Underneath. Nice pass. McHugh with Rivard on him. Katz. Creates a turnover. 135 left to go here in the first half. Katz up six. Pass. Rivard. Great second effort, 12 points. Eight point lead, 110 left to go in the half. Underneath. Nice shot. That was Lavitt. Moody takes a three, that one's off. Rebound, Baker. Call Jaden on a travel. Shannon Sweet. Coach Hill is just and, and stupefied by that call. 
getting the explanation from Shannon Sweet, but he's buying it. Baker comes out. Rebired. Rejection. Three if it goes. Two-pointer. Two-pointer. Thought he was behind the line. 29-25. 35 seconds. Rebired back out. Moody is going to take a three. Makes a three, Brendan Moody. Second three of the game. 22 seconds left, Cats up 32-25. 10 seconds. He's gonna take a three from the far corner. That's gonna be off X with a rebound. And he's going to dribble it out, and that's going to end the half with the Cats up 32-25. Good ball game here at the Den here at Hazen Union High School in Hardwood Vermont as these Harwood Highlanders are giving the Cats a fight tonight. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Art on camera, our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hayes Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. We'll be back in time for the start of the second half. All right, less than a minute to go to uh, the second half here from the Den, Hazen Union High School in Hart, Vermont. It is your Hazen Union Wildcat boys taking on the Harwood Highlanders tonight. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Art on camera. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Applications are now open for any GMTCC programs. Uh, cats up by a score of 32-25. to 25. Uh, It's Brendan Moody with 6, Jaden Baker with 5, Xavier Hill with 7, Tyler Rebard with 12, and Ryan Morrison with 2. Over for Harwood, we have Nathan Kay with 2. We have Toby Bellows with 2. Cole Hill with uh, 369. Uh, no, uh, Toby Bellows doesn't have any. Uh, Cole Hill has 11. Nathan K has two. Let's go, Josh McHugh has two. Uh, Lavitt has six. And Clapp has four. All completely unofficial. About as unofficial as you can get. I just do my best up here. So we'll start the second half. Once again, Cats come into the record of eight and one. If I did my research right, uh, Harwood is at two and four. They're a Division II team. Uh, school technically located in Moortown, I believe. So we'll wish them safe travels back as they head back up the uh, up the road. I know once you get to Waterbury up towards their school, I think you head off towards like Duxbury that way. It's kind of a kind of a twisty, windy road up through there. So we hope they're okay. Get home all right tonight. Shot taken, short by Parker Davy. Davy breaks up the pass though. We've seen them do that a lot, getting our passing lanes tonight. Moody. Off on that three, rebound. I believe that was uh, Hunter Bove, I think. Shot. That one taken by Cole Hill. A two-pointer. Robert Woodward blows his whistle. Foul called on Lewis Clapp. That's his third. And that will send Jaden Baker to the line. Baker. Off on the second one. Tyler gets in there for the rebound. They're going to give the ball to Harwood. Cats up six. Good ball game from the Den tonight. And I tell you, I can't wait for next Wednesday when Thetford comes up. Short shot. It was clap. Harwood creating a turnover. See what Coach Jay Bellows' plan is here for the second half. Moody on Marr. Marr frees up for the shot. Short. 
Rebound to Prez. Hill drop pass, Rivard. Tyler gets hacked, he'll go to the line. Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass from the X-Man to Rivard inside there. Tyler just relentless under the boards tonight. With 12 points in the first half. Hits both his free throws. Inside, clap from the foul line. Short off, clap gets his own rebound, puts up another one. That doesn't go. Mitchett with the rebound, gets it up to Xavier. X Man stops, pops off the back of the rim. Rebound, Rivard fighting off two guys in there. Turns around, puts it up. Tyler Rivard, 14 points. For the senior. Drive inside. Nothing goes. Baker, Jaden Baker makes it a 10 point lead now for the Cats. Five twenty left to go in the third. Turn around, Marr. Going to get called. Uh, I think it's uh, Brendan Moody. Moody picks up his first. That'll send Marr to the line. Marr scoreless so far tonight. And he ends that drought. Boone Marr, the senior. Looking to cut the lead to eight. It will remain at nine. Baker back, Xavier just beyond the arc. Xavier Hill. Lead back up to 11. Mar, clap on the outside. Nice pass inside and Baker's gonna get called. Toby Bellows goes down. Jaden Baker, his third, and we're gonna see Gabe Mitchell go in. Here's Hill. He was hot for the Highlanders in the second quarter. Hit some threes, hit a two. Here's Clapp, turn around, Rivard on him. Tyler gets a hand in there, pokes it out. Shots a three, in and out, rebound, Rivard, pack, quick pass up. Mitchell's gonna have to hurry. Keeps it back, but it unfortunately goes back to Marr. Three pointer from the corner, nothing goes. Rebound, Harwood though. Pass inside, here's Clap back out. Hill, Cole Hill drive. Clap back out, they'll reset. Boom, Meyer barks out a signal. Four minutes left to go in the third. Cole Hill with the prez on him. Pass over. Bellows, turn around, shoots it. So go clap in there. Tyler comes down with it. X. Pass over. Lincoln. Back over. Moody. Free for a three. Brendan Moody. That's all the kids done tonight. A shot threes. He's got three threes. They call Lincoln <clears throat> on a foul, I believe, after the shot. I think they give Brendan the shot. So we got 44-30, but Lincoln called for a foul. That's his third. So Morrison will go in. Marr over to Bellows. 
Meyer drive inside, nowhere to go back out. Bellows takes a three, makes a three. Toby Bellows, now he's got some points. Three points for the junior. 44-33, your score. Breaking up the passing lanes once again. Parker Davy gets it back, clap. Here's Meyer, gonna try and drive. Nowhere to go with that, X picks that one off. Moody, short. Rebound, clap. Boone Marr. Some hand signals. Bellows throws up a long three from the parking lot, just about. Pass up, Moody. Wide open on the far side. No, beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Revard. Cats put on a pass passing clinic on that possession. Mitchell with the ball, gets it back. Revard comes up with it, here's X. Got Moody open in the corner. We'll see if he can make a three from this side. Nope, that one's off the front of the rim. Rebound, Parker Davey. And Coach Jay Bellows wants a full timeout to talk things over. 2.07 left to go in the third. Cats up by a score of 46 to 33. They kind of, you know, Highlanders kind of start to get back in it and then we go on a little bit of a run and build that lead back up. So let's see, uh, a couple of musical, I got a lot of music trivia tonight. Def Leppard Pyromania released on this day in 1983. Gave us rock, rock till you drop, uh, rock pages, photograph, fooling. Album has been certified diamond, 10 million sold. Also on this day in 1964, Meet the Beatles was released here in the States. First two songs on the album, I Want to Hold Your Hand, and I Saw Her Standing There. Can you imagine having your debut album with those two songs? Just to lead things off. Today is also International Sweatpants Day, but everybody here wearing shorts because it's a beach party tonight. And here's one that I hold near and dear to my heart. It's National Disc Jockey Day. Here we go, boys! Boone Marr, a senior for the Harwood Highlanders. Passes it over. Cole Hill. Fiddles and diddles back out. Nathan Kay inside, pass back over. Takes a three, that's off. Rebound streaking underneath there. Nothing going though. Rebard with the rebound on that. X. Foul called on the floor, must be. Foul called on Boone Marr, that's his second. Both teams, still just three team fouls. Pass inside, Rebard wide open. 20 points now for Tyler Rivard. Marr puts up a three that's short. Gabe Mitchin. And Coach Hill wants a timeout to talk things over. Gabe Mitchin just fighting it out in there underneath the hoop. We've seen him on his belly a lot this game. Can't say he's not afraid to hit the deck. So once again, uh, I believe the next broadcast that we'll have will be next Wednesday when the Thetford Panthers come north. Once again, they were the team who stopped. We were on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cats had won their first seven games, so they went down to Thetford and lost 47 to 42. Rebounded big time against Linden this past Monday by a score of 87 to 46. So forward to that. I think I've got all the games here somewhere that we have. Home games at least. Yes, Wednesday, January 25th, we'll have the boys against Thetford and Thursday, January 26th, it'll be the girls against Williamstown here at the Den. So we'll have back-to-back -back nights here from the Den next Wednesday and Thursday night. Yours truly here with a call. Taken away by Harwood. One minute left to go in the third. Marr, three if it goes, short. Rebound Gabe Mitchett, pass up, X. 
Did good to control that one. Moody taken away by Marr. And slipping on the far side. He's mad at himself was Nathan Kay. Nobody near him. Inside. X-Man. Eleven points for the X-Man. 50-33 lead. 25 seconds left to go here in the third. Cole Hill gets it over to Boone Marr at 20 seconds. Nathan Kay with X on him. Pass out Cole Hill. Seven point eight seconds left to go in the third. Foul called on Brendan Moody. A hold. His second. Seven point eight left. There's Cole Hill. Mitch it on him. Taken away by Xavier Hill, and that one's not going to go. So at the end of three, it is your Hagen Union Wildcats leading by a score of fifty to thirty-three. Harwood, it came close a little times, then we went on some runs and built that lead back up in good shape right now. Lance Hall with the call. HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial and streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors, once again, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. So we'll see what... The fourth quarter brings to us. Will Harwood go on a little run and close it in and make it competitive? Or will the Cats go on another run and sort of close this thing out, and push their record to 9-1? and one? We'll get to wait about a little while from now. Of course, January 20th is uh, Presidential Inauguration Day. It was on this day in 1961. John Kennedy was inaugurated, the youngest president to ever be inaugurated president. 1981, the Iran hostage crisis ended. 52 U.S. citizens released after 444 days of captivity. I remember that day like it was yesterday. Highlander's got a couple hands on that pass, but it's still, Hill comes up with it, back out. Mitchell was down low. Bodies on the floor, Ryan the Little Lion. And uh, McHugh. Get tangled. It's gonna be Nathan Kay, he's gonna inbounds, I believe, to Toby Bellows. McHugh gets it taken away. Gabe Mitchin. Tremendous game tonight for Gabe. Been making all kinds of things happen out there. Prez back to Baker. Cross court. Hill wide open. X doesn't get the roll on that one. Rebound. Lavitz. Bellows back out. Lavitz near side. Drop pass, trying to work inside. Baker gets a hand on it. Nathan Kay was trying to get it to Bellows. Back in comes Tyler, Ryan the Little Lion, Morrison out. 7.02 left to go in your ball game. Cats up 17. Mitchett gets a hand on it. No backcourt because Mitchett tipped it. Cole Hill. Short shots. Doesn't drop for McHugh. McHugh, though, hustling down under. Can't convert it. Mitchell. He's not going to outmuscle the Prez under there. Rivard. X Man.
foul called on Nathan Kay, his first. Lewis Clapp goes in, Parker Davey goes in, Nathan Kay is gonna come out, and Cole Hill is gonna come out. Baker, back over to Xavier, here's Baker. Cats probably trying to kill a little clock here. Six minutes left to go in the game, up 17. No points yet here in this last quarter. Gabe got hacked. Foul called on Toby Bellows, his first. Uh, both teams with still though, just five team fouls apiece, so a couple away from one and ones. The Prez trying to get it to Baker. Baker. Revard. Dishes over X. Revard has that one taken away. Rejection, Revard. Rejection, courtesy of Tyler Revard. Baker pop inside. X wide open for the three ah, it's shorts. Got a whistle. Robert Woodward blows his whistle. Foul called on Joshua McHugh. So 5-14 left to go in the game. And we still have not, neither team has scored any points in this quarter. Score still 50-33. Xavier Hill with Toby Bellows on him gets it. Here's Mitchell. Gabe back to Tyler. Three second call underneath. Four fifty five. Let's go here in your ball game. And that pass, Lavitt was not ready for it. Turnover. Wheels kind of coming off the Highlander attack right now. Baker, Revard up for the rebound, doesn't get it. Draws the foul. Foul called on Lewis Clapp, his fourth. And now with seven team fouls, uh, Hayes will be shooting one on ones. The Highlanders have seven team fouls. Uh, Hayes has still got a couple to give. Revard off on his first free throw. Makes a second one, and at last we have a score here in the fourth quarter. We'll make it 51-33. First point of the quarter with 4.30 left in it. Baker whistled up. That is his fourth. Davey inbounds over to Lavitt. Lavitt back here, near side three-pointer. Drained by Parker Davey, his first points of the game. 51-36, 4.18 left to go. go. We've seen the Highlanders go on a little bit of a run, so at different times in this game, so. I don't think the Cats really want to rest on their laurels. Shannon Sweets calls the moving screen. And that's on Jaden, and Jaden just fouled out. Uh, Coach Hill just can't believe it. His <laughs> Aaron having some words with referee Robert Woodward. Not happy with the call from Shannon Sweet at all. 
on that call that fouled out Jaden Baker. And the moving screen, whatever it is they, that they call on that. Hill blocked that one out. Still down with it though, dishes over. Shot up off the glass, doesn't go. Rebound, Rivard. Coach Hill says, slow it down. Let's just burn some clock. Make them play D. Although they've been really good at getting in our passing lanes. Coach Hill wants a timeout. With 3.39 left to go here in the game. Cats up 51-36. Things getting a little interesting here towards the end. So, let's see what happens. Let's see, what do we got? What else do we got here? Uh, it was on this day in 1983, Kenny, Kenny Loggins was getting ready to go on stage at a concert in Provo, Utah. He fell off the stage. The crowd didn't know it. He was, he was trying to get on the stage. It was dark. He fell. Before the crowd even knew it, it was announced that he wasn't able to complete the concert. He'd broken some ribs and stuff. So he, they rescheduled the show for later on. Loggins goes home and ends up writing the song Footloose. It was used, of course, for the title song of the Footloose movie. So, you know, sometimes it's the worst of times, you get the best of times. You know, he wrote probably as big as hit as a result of an accident, you know. When life hands you lemons, you make lemonade. Or in his case, number one hits. Mitch had got the ball to Tyler. Gabe kind of had an open lane there, but he passed off to Tyler. I mean, why not? Foul called on Clapp. That's his fist. So Lewis Clapp will now foul out for the Highlanders. And Joshua McHugh will check in. Clapp not happy. Tyler at the line. Let's go, Josh. Makes his first one. <laughs> 22 so far for the senior. Unofficial. Off rebound. Tyler comes right back up with it. Pass inside. Gabe Mitchett in the knee. Two points. For the junior. Open for the three. Cole Hill. That's his fourth three of the game. 16 points. And it's 54-29. And Jay Bellows wants a timeout. Did he take a timeout? Or no, we took a timeout. I believe Aaron took a timeout. I was looking down to see how many points that Hill had had. 16 for Cole Hill. Uh, four three-pointers tonight. So, see what happens. 54-39, 257. We've seen uh, the Highlanders go on some runs and make things close. We've seen uh, the Wildcats respond and build back their leads. So. Spirited ball game here. Now, I'll tell you, the, the one guy tonight who's just played, I've, I've talked about it, he's played a whale of a game, and he just scored his first points of the game is Gabe Mitchell. But he's done the stuff that, you know, you don't get all the, the, the glitz and the glamour for. He's been out there on his stomach, you know, going after balls, and he's been getting knocked down, and he's been passing, and he's been rebounding, and he's been interrupting stuff. He's been playing defense. That's the stuff you don't hear a whole lot of about. You know, I, I call them, you know, the players who bring their lunchbox with them to, to the game. They're working. Beat the time count across underneath the Prez. Back out. Here's Tyler. Double team. Jump ball. Aaron got a timeout in. Aaron got the time called before they called the jump. With 2.37 left to go. Veteran move. 
by Coach Hill. So the boys play next Wednesday here at the Den against Thetford. Then we go on the road for four games. Uh, 27th, we're at U32. The 30th, we're at Randolph. The first, we're at Spalding. Eighth, we're at Peoples. They will return uh, back here to the Den on Friday, February 10th against Montpelier, which should be a very good game. And then Wednesday the 15th at Lamoille. Then they go back on the road for a couple more at Lake Region at Williamstown before finishing up their season on Thursday, February 23rd here against Randolph. That'll be senior night. Weather permitting for all those games, of course. We've seen some uh, some kind of wild stuff coming through. Supposed to get a couple more storms this week. Who knows what will happen. Cats on the inbounds. <laughs> Foul called on Boone Marr, his third, as they were really going after Tyler on that inbounds. Hits the front end of the one and one. 23 points unofficially for Tyler Rivard in this game. Rebound, McHugh. Bombs away, doesn't go. Rebound, Rivard. Highlanders, full court press. Cats get to practice their press break. Mitchell down low, double teams. Wide open underneath, what? Catch and release. Oh, I wish that would have dropped. That was beautiful, beautiful. I don't know what the call is gonna be here. We're calling a... They're gonna end up calling Gabe for the foul as they were really rolling around over there on the floor. I thought we'd maybe have a jump, but uh, it's gonna send Toby Bellows to the line. 2.06 left to go here in the game. Cats up 55-39. Bellows. It's his first one. Four points for the junior, unofficially. Hits them both. Five points for Toby Bellows. Shannon Sweet giving his whistle a workout here tonight. Foul called on Joshua McHugh, his third, and now that puts the Highlanders in a double bonus, or the Cats a double bonus, as the Highlanders have 10 team fouls. So Xavier Hill will be shooting two. Xavier with 11 points as it stands right now. Misses the first one. Get the rebound, boy. Here we go, Xavier. Hill. Good on a second one. Here's Marr. Parker Davey whistle blows. Robert Woodard. Woodward. Excuse me. Foul called on, uh, who was that foul called on? That foul was called on Xavier Hill, his first. So one more foul by the Wildcats, and both teams will be in the double bonus. So we'll be shooting two. And hitting the front end of the one-on-one -on -one is Parker Davey. So for the longest time, we weren't in any type of bonus situation. One more foul by the Cats, and both teams will be in double bonus. So Davey hits the second one. Five points for the senior, unofficial. 56-43, your score. Gabe Mitchett inside the Prez. Back out. Oh. 
Moody gets mugged. Foul was called on Toby Bellow. He's going to send Brendan Moody to the line. He'll be shooting two. Brendan Moody gives him 10 points on the night. Said it's his first points he scored. It hasn't been a three. Brendan, 11 points. 130 left to go in the game. 58-43, your score. Broken up the Perez. Revard up to X. Xavier double team passes, found a pass inside to Gabe Mitchin. And he gets fouled. I believe that's going to be on. Uh, McHugh, his fourth. Gabe Mitchin at the line. Off the glass, 59-43. Doesn't go, rebound, Revard brings it back out. X, 116 left to go. Revard had to sky or else that one was headed into the student section. Wide open underneath. Mitchett back up. The Prez, his first points of the game. There's another guy, though. Done everything tonight. Rebound, broken up passes, played D. It's not all about scoring. Rejection! Revard. Fifty-one point nine left to go in the game. Sixty-one forty three your score. Cats push the record to nine and one. Revard comes up with it. Thirty five point nine left to go in the game. Foul was called on Boone Mars. Going to send Tyler Revard to the line. Uh, I've been watching uh, Hazy Union Wildcat basketball here on HCTV, Channel 1080 on the cable dial streaming worldwide on our content, www.hctv.us. Tyler hits his first one. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center GMTCC. LNSD.org, jumpstart your future. Tyler hits them both. I got Tyler with 24 unofficial. I may have missed one, I'm not sure. They had 12 in the first half. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 25 unofficially. Once again, as unofficial as you can get. 19 seconds left in the game. And call the foul on the Prez, his fourth. That'll send Joshua McHugh to the line. Shooting two as the both teams are in double bonus. No, he's not going to send him to the line. Uh, there's a reason for that, and I can't remember why. McHugh skied up, got tangled up with Tyler. He's okay. Foul called down on the opposite end on Parker Davey, which is going to send Tyler to the line, shooting two with 7.6 seconds here in the game.
Tyler off on his first one. Once again, we'll wish the Highlanders safe travels back to their school. I think Tyler, a little jumpy on that when he wanted that rebound. He knew he was going to miss it. Seven point six. Let's run it out. Mar takes a long three, and that'll end it. Cats win by twenty. Sixty-three forty-three here from the den. Push your record to nine and one. Good, outstanding effort. As as Harwood, the game I think was closer than what that score indicates. Uh, Harwood had some runs and, and had had us uh, had us playing there for a while. Once again, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Art on camera. We'll see you next Wednesday when the boys will be hosting Fetford. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.